Welcome back, people. You're still on Twitter. We were Welcome caught Niger. off guard, by the way, because we have a very interesting conversation. Yes, you guys will believe do. it's, it's, it's yes, quite interesting. Do. Yes, we do. And with us is Nyerins of the Big Brother Season 6 reality TV show. TV show. And, um, well, he describes himself as a polymath. Uh huh. As in polymath. I know what a polygloth is, but he's going to tell us exactly what, what a polymath, a polymath is. is. Yeah, <laughs> and um, his artwork is said to have the ability to interact with his viewers in the most personal and unique way. And we're not just going to be talking arts today, we're also going to be talking... Personality. Personality. You as a medical doctor, as an author, Welcome as a digitalist, you're you a lot much. of things. Thanks for being <laughs> Good here. Good to have show. you here. Thank yeah. you. Now, first of all, I thought you were a very interesting person when we saw you on television, but then yeah. meeting you yeah. personally, yeah. blowing my mind here. I mean, yeah. Yeah. very yeah. interesting to find out that I always thought that you were part of something else. Maybe <laughs> Nigerian and one and a half yeah. Sudanese, Sudanese. <laughs> Nigerian and one and a half Lebanese. Nah, but nah. Nigeria, you will not believe that this guy is full Nigerian. Most yeah. of you already know. Joseph. <laughs> you guys are from Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were maybe northern and something else. No, no. I'm from Bayelsa State. Egypt. Wow. Yeah. That's very interesting, Aaron. Yeah. You don't look you don't look Yeah, uh, I get that a lot. I get that a lot, you know. I travel around and you know, people Nigerians, they're like, you know, you, you are either not Nigerian. In yeah. fact, like, so many places, even Abuja, you know, someone came to me and was like, you know, because I was renting an apartment and they wanted to, like, overprice the money just because they thought I wasn't Yes, now this is a Lebanese guy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. Uh, but can you yeah. speak your can, local dialect? Huh? Your local yes, language. not that very much, mm. but, you, you know. You can speak it, Joe. I, yeah, it's Joe. Joe. Uh, Teke Nare, what's your name? Tebra, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's a now, let's place. talk about your personality a little yeah. bit because, yeah. I mean, your personality here is completely different from what we saw in the Big Brother house. Yeah. The yeah. Big Brother house, you were pushing conservative. Yeah. You were very conservative yeah. with yeah. your demeanor. Mm. And here, mm. you have a different hairstyle. Yeah. You're an mm. artist. Yeah. Tell us about that a little yeah, bit. Um, so, so, like, um, someone like me, just explaining the Big Brother house, you know, mm -hmm. someone like me, I, I tend to, you know, before I find myself in any surrounding, I tend to like take myself back and try to understand the people around me first okay. and all that. Also gets very acquainted. It takes me, you know, some people it can take them a day. Mm -hmm. Me, it takes me like a little bit longer. And um, of course, I was getting to there with like, you know, it's a game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so um, out of the house, you know, of course, I get I got to say a little bit things about me in the house, and people got to understand that oh, this dude is the polymath and uh -huh. all that. You know, I had no clue how big the world was. You know, it was the highest search word on the day I entered. Yeah, the it was. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so it was really interesting. Um, yeah, coming out of the house, just you know, living up to that my name mm -hmm. and just being myself. You know, um, inspiring who I can inspire mm -hmm. and just yeah. Live it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's okay, sorry. Cool. Um, let's talk about your trans transition because you moved from one phase to another. You know, in the course of your career, yeah. from being a medical doctor, even though you can't mm -hmm. you can't um, practice here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and now I mean you've moved. You you've been an author. You've been a digitalist. You you know now you're an artist. Yeah. Talk us through all of that. You know. Yeah. Those phases. So um, the third year in my school, you know. I entered medical school in Ukraine, started medical school when I started you know, my first year, you know. I, of course, I've been doing these other things before I went to, uh, before I went to study, study in Ukraine. Medicine, okay. But then I didn't like, I wasn't serious in it. But like when, it was my third year, I found out that, you know, there are people that are called polymaths. Mm -hmm. And when I got hold of that name, like when I was like, I you want to be deserved, it. I want to, you know, I want people to call me that name, I want to deserve you being own called, it. own it, you know, you know, I decided that I can be, you know, um, the master of all trades, yeah. or like mm -hmm. literally, you mm -hmm. know, so any field I go to, I don't do all of them at once, mm -hmm. you know, I say, okay, the next six months, the next one year, mm -hmm. I'm going into art. You know, mm -hmm. this year I've uh, exhibited talk, in Abuja. Talk about that art. We we were seeing uh, visuals of you here. Yes. Uh, this is your your art now. Yes, what, yes. How would you describe your art? What would you call it exactly? 
Um, okay, so this, uh, the ink on paper mm -hmm. is just one type of artwork. So it started 2019 when I wanted to, you know, I had this theory that I wanted to bring out. So I was like, okay, the best way to display it was through art. And um, also I've been writing this book based on that theory. So I was like, okay, let me publish this book and make it an artwork. So okay. I was like, okay, ink on paper will be the best. So I got this eight, uh, 11 feet long uh, sheet, of sheet of paper okay. <laughs> and then drew the whole idea. I did the wow. artwork on it. How long? Eight months. That took eight, eight months. months. Every day. Every it was single like, day. It's not like you're going to work or something. Okay, so I'm going to come to ask exactly how how much that's going to sell for. But you also wrote a book. Yes. 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 I was yes. talking. About, I was going to ask about yes. the thought process yeah. that went into the book because you said you wrote it for three yes. years. Yes. You know, so like because of the kind of curious person I am, sometimes I just stay on my own. You know, debating myself and trying to like ask my redefine my theories and all. So um, just because of the world, you know, there's so many informations, and sometimes when I try to like you know get to study the world and try to understand, I feel like there are some missing pieces. So when I try to like you know, yes, yes, all those missing pieces. I get that theory down. and then I build on it, you know, so I keep writing and writing. Since 2017, I've been working wow. on the, wow. the, the book and all. So, yeah, it's very interesting. It's something that it's going to, I would you like know, to read it. Yeah, like it's really, it. really interesting. So do I read it before seeing the artwork or read it after uh, seeing the artwork? First of all, you'll be, you, when you see the artwork, you'll be wowed by it. How Just much would it go for? Have um, you sold it you know, already? People, people have come with 10 million, 20 million to buy wow. it. And you haven't sold it. Uh, what are you waiting for? 60 million? Million? No, it's it's it's, it's, yeah. it's you know it hasn't been displayed in enough galleries yet oh. outside Nigeria oh, okay. also, okay. and then also like you know it, even 100 million might not even be okay. You're there joking. are people. Um, I I don't know if I can call them. Dora Kunyele's daughter yeah. sold her artwork for one million dollars, right? Yeah. So and that like how much three hundred and something or four hundred mm -hmm. and something thousand million dollars. Five hundred plus million. Okay, so so like it's any any amount is possible. So if if I have put this much work, you know, in this kind of stuff, you can't make me rush to buy I for you. twenty million or ten million. Tell me about the sleepless nights you had. It's Look you know, at the intricate details. Like, can you? I, I, I'm yeah, looking at is, it. I can see. I'm like. Yes, there is a there is the map of the world in that art oh itself. There is a. Um, there are so many things, you know, the theories, the ideas, every single thing. It's also crypto. Crypto. I studied uh, cryptography for like three months. Uh, it's hidden messages and also I infused uh -huh. it into the wow. artwork. Also, people would decipher it will get an NFT. Um, that's what I'm giving out. They will get to own one <laughs> NFT and sell it. You sure. know, in any amount. What are you, the Elon Musk of Nigeria? Uh, what? <laughs> How come people haven't recognized you, you that much exactly. as that? Because that is so much. See, this is my problem with reality shows. They, 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 they don't focus on the beauty talents. of people's yeah. talents enough. It's all the superficialness that actually wins. And that's Look what at me, thinking that I was even going to ask about the chorus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a fact. I mean, what? look how intelligent this young man is. I mean, but like, you know, what? I, I don't want to go there. You know let's numbers, just see, you know? Yeah, let's just see a little a bit of your work. We, we, like, we want to revel in it. I yes, want exactly. to. I don't know about Mazzino, but I, I definitely want to. So please, I let's do. see this. Yeah. Yeah. One of the reasons why this artwork is so special is its ability to wow and uh, interact with anyone who sees it. I decided to tax myself to make something more. I've been drawing all my life and I use it as therapy. Something about the commitment in the process of ink drawing makes it a truly medium to work with. Before I started this project, I spent a little time thinking of the name. When I finally came up with Index, it changed the art completely. A little similar to the dictionary meaning, the one you find at the last pages of books. Index is a compilation of stories, subjects and ideas in a piece of artwork with the intent to help viewers find where they are discussed in their lives and analyze them based on their understanding.